Hello everyone, I'm Given Hen. Welcome back to Let's Play Metroid 2, The Return of Samus. Today, we are going to... ...continue going on through the game. Unlock the new spiky pathway that has... ...more Metroids to kill. She can't kill those, she just have to do it from the bottom. Okay, so there's only two metroids in this area as well. I don't know why there's just two areas with uh, just two metroids other than just padding because after you do this, you have to backtrack right where we came from again. So, but again, I saved you the trip for that, but. There's uh, whatever that enemy was called just now, the little shield guy. I think they're in fusion. I don't know what these are. They're not quite the Mega Man disappearing blocks, but I don't know what they their actual purpose is. Other than making you fall. Anyways. Yep, okay. That was easy. But the game actually has an echo. For a second I thought my, uh, I had the sound on, on the actual 3DS. And that somehow was like, I was hearing that, and then I was hearing the game as well, but no. Uh, it's just that the space jump in this game echoes its sound effect for some reason. Which, alright. I guess so. I like how I both failed and succeeded there. That was pretty good. Okay, okay apparently now they flow back and forth. I don't remember these platforms even being in the game. It's so strange. So I was gonna do this one second because of uh, what this one has in its area. You probably already guess. If you guess the health refill, then you're correct, but I like, didn't really need that either. In fact, uh, with the way I was doing, I think the uh, getting the missile second would have been a better investment, but alas. I like the uh, weird space jump noise, though. Should probably switch off the missiles. And now it's time to backtrack yet again. Alrighty. Alrighty. Uh, I've been told that I uh, might have to cut this one short. So if anything, uh, you know what, that saves you guys some time, so I'm gonna just backtrack back to the other place, and then uh, 
I'll see you when I'm back from dinner and whatever. So for now, uh, be right back. Tend to be back and uh, not remember what I'm doing at all because it's been forever and a half. So I'm gonna. I know I know where I am. Alrighty. At least I remembered. I believe we're currently heading into area. Is that six? Apparently. So if we can get past all the uh, bouncing noises, which are kind of louder than life itself. So hey, guess what we get to do now? We get to go backtrack again to this particular bit. And walk, see how it's constantly move from squatting into walking for a second and then squatting again. Hey. Hey, how dare you get me when I'm not paying attention for half a second? What the hell are those on? This missile's upside down. That's interesting. Wait, is this already in a new area, or is this still an old area? Because I don't remember those, like, bird head enemy things. Or these bats. So perhaps... Hey. I guess we'll see. Yes? Bomb them? No. Do you have to missile those? What do you know? You have to missile the terribly pixeled blocks that then randomly do that. Okay. Okay then. Alrighty, to the next area. Okay, 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 okay. Hey. Despite not being as strong, I like the spacer better than the uh, plasma beam for having a wider range. Hey. So is it officially the Spazer or the Spazer Beam? I guess we will never know because the games are very inconsistent about it. And then in Zero Mission they just say screw it all together and just call it the Wide Beam. Oh jeez. No? No, right. that wasn't so bad. But usually you get the warning beforehand and not afterwards. Alrighty. I'll definitely take that. Oh. That was damaging. I mean, I guess, but... Okay, can we not do that? Can't... Hmm. Hmm. Okay, I guess we are gonna just... Okay. Save point. In fact, save. Uh, I think the middle section of this area is completely useless. All it the, all it has is it has uh, every single one of the beams again, but you don't really need to get them again. And I think, ow. I think this area is pretty unfriendly. 
And I think, yep, okay. So here's a Zeta Metroid, which apparently spits fire. It's just generally an asshole. Apparently doesn't like to take damage very much. Samus doesn't like to turn around very much, it seems. Is he not even taking damage here? Oh, okay. So, uh, crapping missiles out of my ass apparently worked out there. Oh, it's a good thing it did. Okay. Let's get out of this spiky hellhole with the, uh, the, all, the completely restoring item for Mega Man 1. That's what that is. It's not anything else. Um. No. Okay, you can you can piss off. And you just don't want to, okay. Can I please? I know I have the space jump, but it's not being too reliable. Is there anything in here that I want? I think this might just lead me to the pile of beams. No wait, this is the safe station, okay. I guess I'll do that. I think the next part leads me up to uh, all the beams, and while I could get the plasma beam because it's slightly stronger, I guess, uh, I'm gonna choose to skip that and just keep on going through the game. Uh, I do believe you need the ice beam to beat the game, but I think there is another ice beam later on. So I'm not going to get it. Ow. Okay, if I could, if I could space jump, sort of. Ugh, ugh. My life, it is absolutely awful. I think this is just a gamma though, so. Like the worst thing we faced. Gammas are nothing at this point. We've dealt with them so many times. Watch me die in this hallway though because I can't space jump. If I actually would have, that would have been really great, but apparently the game chose to be kind to me. And not completely kick my ass. Only mostly when I deserve it. Okay. No. No! Thank you, actually. Ugh. Are you kidding me? See, the best part about this is that uh, there's an item that would make this whole charade a whole lot easier, but I have yet to get it. Okay, here's just a metro shell. This is the top. No. There's another passageway. What is she on their passageway lead? Do I drop down? Don't really know if I care for that very much. Actually, I think this might be the thing with the beams. Uh, do I want the plasma beam? Sure. I know I said I didn't want it, but there you go anyways. I think top to bottom they're uh, Plasma, Spazer, Wave, and Ice. So they just go from uh, strongest to weakest from top to bottom. If you want them, there they are. Okay, you don't actually fall there. It also means this wasn't the top yet. For the record, I love when I fail the space jump. It's my favorite thing in this game. And in any Metroid game, for that matter. Ow. 
now. Okay. I can't shoot you. You bet you're sorry, dinosaur ass. I actually can. Okay. Let's just spot it all up here. Which, as we all know, is the most exciting part of this game, but... I'm gonna have to. I like the lack of music in this area. Uh -huh. Yep, that's what I thought. So we're gonna do this again. And there we go! Final actual energy tank we can carry. I don't actually know how we're doing on missiles, but I'm hoping that we're uh, very nearly done. Get my spider ball. It's around there. Because I don't want to fall just yet. I do fall. I do want to fall soon, but not yet. Uh, for the record, there's also an energy tank. Uh, which I'll shut it off in a little bit when I get to that area. Ow! Apparently, the Metro just really like hanging out in D's now. Oh! Well, that's fair. I like the sand just immediately respawning after me. That's pretty great. Ow. No. Stop. If we jump over here, you can see that there is an E-tank over yonder, which I'm not going to get. I don't need it. But I will jump down here. Yeah, okay. This room is kind of weird. I, you can't tell that I'm doing this, but I'm holding right now. Don't know if I have the bomb. Yeah, that happens. Uh, you can get the uh, the other item in a similar way. It's by no means required, and I don't actually know how to get out of here. So, oh. Yep, I'm gonna trust that this is gonna work. Uh, yeah, okay. We have a couple more minutes so I can do some more stuff, like get the final item of the game. If I just drop down here. Oh, wait, no, no. There's a missile. A recharge, rather. Uh, so there's ten more. If every single thing gives you ten missiles, then I don't know how many I still need. Well, I need three more, but I don't know if there's three. Let me check the map. Uh, I see at least one. That's not a good thing. So I don't think this game has a... has 230. Oh boy. Don't know what that means. And we get to fight another Zeta. I 
I like just, just shooting missiles out of your ass method. It actually works surprisingly well. well because I get something cool here. At least once we move our way back into this room. Yep, it's a screw attack. And uh on that note I think I'm gonna end off. So for now Thank you guys all for watching. I'll see you guys all next time when uh, we uh, might exterminate most of those remaining eight Metroids. So for now, uh, yeah, as I said, thank you guys all for watching. And I'll see you guys all next time. Bye.